guys I hope you're doing well and it's so good to see you again this Sunday and I'm excited that it's Sunday and we get to share God's Word together so without further delay let's go into the Word of God so first we're gonna start with a memory verse okay and the ver memory verse is taken from the book of Philippians chapter 2 and verse 8 and being found in appearance as a man he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death even the death of the cross let's read it one more time and being found in appearance as a man he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death even the death of, of the cross hey guys it's Gracie today we're gonna learn about Jesus can you tell me who Jesus is Jesus is God and today we're going to learn about how Jesus came to the world. Now where do we go to for answers about Jesus? The Bible and we're going to read in Luke 2 6 verse 7. So this scripture in Luke is talking about Mary and Joseph traveling to Bethlehem. While they were there the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. It says that Mary placed Jesus in a manger. Do you know what a manger is? It's a place where animals ate from. And who did we say Jesus was? Jesus is God. This also means that Jesus is king. So why would a king be placed in a manger? Jesus is the forever king, but he came to the world humbly and quietly. Kings and nations didn't come to bow down to him, but some people did come to see Jesus. Can you remember who that is? I'm going to read from Luke 2, 8 verse 9. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. So shepherds were watching over their sheep, and God sent an angel of the Lord to tell them about Jesus. These shepherds were terrified. They were very scared of this huge angel suddenly appearing. But the angel told them not to be afraid. He brought good news. Let's have a look at what the angel said. Do not be afraid, I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts, angels, appeared, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. So we know that Jesus is God. And we also know that Jesus is King. So why would God send just shepherds to come and see Jesus? Marianne's going to tell us why. Now we're going to read in John chapter 1 verse 1. And the Bible says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. We're going to read another verse in the same chapter. So let's go all the way down to verse 14 and let's see what the Word says. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So in these two verses, John is talking about Jesus. Jesus is the word. So can I ask you one question guys? How many times was the term the word repeated in these two verses? Four times, that's right. So John in these two verses, he repeats that word four times. So let's go back to the first verse and let's replace that term the word with Jesus's name. So every time you come to a place where it says the word, let's replace it with Jesus and see how it reads. So in the beginning was Jesus and Jesus was with God and Jesus was God. So here 
it's saying that Jesus was God and Jesus is God because in verse 14 he says became flesh and dwelt among us so Jesus came into the world Jesus came on earth that's when that's what it means by becoming flesh it means he became human. But what is surprising about the birth of Jesus is the fact that it's so simple and so humble when we just talked about Jesus being God so God is king you know God is powerful he's greater than anything and anyone in the world so jesus is god the god who created everything who created the the earth and the heavens and he could have he could have been born anywhere he could have surrounded himself with the best of everything he could have sent you know birth announcements to the rich and the famous people of his day but he was born in a humble way to a young Jewish girl and her husband and he was laid in the manger. Jesus came to the earth as a humble servant and it's important that we catch this because Jesus told his disciples that he didn't come to be served but he came to serve others and this is an example that we should also live in our lives. We shouldn't just want others to serve us, we should also serve others. We should always go to, re to the rescue of people that are in difficult times, people that need help. We should always avail ourselves because that's the example that Jesus showed us when he walked on earth. This is the reason why Jesus' humble birth is surprising and it's because of who Jesus is. That's why it's surprising. Jesus was God and he knew he was God, but still he chose to come to the earth in a very simple and humble way. And that should be an example to us as well, to be able to serve others instead of just wanting to be served. We can all learn from the life of Jesus and follow his example by serving others. So whenever you get an opportunity to serve somebody else, to serve your parents, your brothers and sisters, your friends, um, always take that opportunity because when you do that, you're following Jesus' example. And that's what it means to be a disciple of Jesus. With that, I'm going to leave you guys and I hope you have a great start of the week and we are praying for you guys and hope we see each other very soon. Bye! Don't forget, Jesus is King and Jesus is God. See you guys next time.